Drew357, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this video, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at another old pistol. This is the Smith & Wesson Terrier, and it's built on the I-frame, which is a frame that is a little bit smaller than the J-frame. And also, it's not chambered in 38 Special, it's chambered in 38 Smith & Wesson, which is this bullet right here. This cartridge was designed in 1877. Some call it the 38 Smith & Wesson Short. Some call it the 9x20mm R. Others call it the 38 Colt NP, which stands for New Police. So anyhow, we can see that the gun's unloaded. Um, it works just like most other revolvers. Um, they put serial numbers all over this gun. They put it inside where it locks up. They'll put it on the cylinder. They'll put it on the bottom of the grip. Um, one of the things that's a little different when you get into the older revolvers is the firing pin is right on the hammer, which some say could make it extremely reliable, um, unless that were to break, which does not happen on many. But as we look at the sights, you can see this model is believed to be manufactured around 1953 on what they call the improved iframe. They change things a little bit. And it's got a, a ramp sight on the front with a barrel rib. And, and in the back, it's got a square notch, just a fixed square notch. And I can tell you, having fired this gun a lot, these sights are right on at 25 yards. It's, it's very surprising how accurate this pistol is for just having a, a two inch barrel. So let me just let you take a look at it. Uh, walnut grips on either side. You can see they fit really well. Very, very tight tolerances. It's got a round grip here on the frame. There's five screws on this gun. Um, as you get into the older Smith & Wessons, one of the way they, they identify them is by how many screws hold the gun together. So here if we count them, one, two, three, there's a fourth one under the grip and a fifth one ahead of the trigger guard. So I have a couple holsters here. This is a Jackson Leatherworks uh, made for this gun. Uh, it's for inside the waistband. Uh, it's very comfortable in this holster. These holsters are not cheap, but they're high quality. You really get what you pay for. They'll last a lifetime, and you know many of your family members after you can use them and inherit them, and they'll develop a patina as they get older. Um, just wear and tear looks good on them. Um, this is a DeSantis pocket holster. Uh, this gun fits really well in the pocket, especially if it's like a coat pocket in the winter time. And so I showed you the ammo here. This is a 357 round, you know, 158 grain next to a 38 special 158 grain. And then most of the rounds for this caliber are in 146 grain for the 38 Smith & Wesson. Um, over here, this, this is a Wheeler Engineering flathead screwdrivers, gunsmithing tools. Um, for a gun like this where you have blued screws, you want to have a screwdriver that fits it exactly. That way you don't bugger up the threads and decrease the value of the gun. So for like some of these screws here, you could get a real thin flathead and it will fit right in there. Or let's say you're going to take the grip off. It'll fit in there really well too and you just connect these to either one of these screwdrivers. So I highly recommend Wheeler Engineering. They make some nice gunsmithing tools. You can get them on Amazon. So let me show you real quick, just uh, the gun's unloaded. A single action trigger pull on this gun. Very, very good. The double action's a little harder, which is not a bad thing for a self-defense revolver. Uh, it gives you just a little bit more time. But as you shoot it, you can, you can stage it, and you can almost figure out when it's gonna break. This one breaks pretty far back. So, I've got Ballastol out here. You're going to see me put this in most videos. If, if you've never tried Ballastol, order some on Amazon. This is really good for cleaning your guns and lubricating them. It's all you really need. And I've found with a lot of my automatic weapons, they, they don't jam up as much because of Ballastol. I've got my Smokey the Bear Filson coffee mug here. Um, it's a, a good one. And... We appreciate you stopping by today. So this is the Smith & Wesson Terrier 1953 on the improved iframe. An antique pistol. 
Drew357, thanks for stopping by.